So, Warren Buffett bought around 40 million ExxonMobil shares for around three and a half billion dollars. Anyone think he's power mad? What is special about ExxonMobil is actually they have a very large uh, chemical business on top of their downstream and upstream business and, and they have very nice profit margins and that's something that he likes. Also firing up his portfolio? Well, he's got stakes in ConocoPhillips, the oil and gas producers who exist to power civilization, according to its website. Philips 66, the Conoco offshoot, which does energy and logistics. National oil well Varco makes oil and gas drilling equipment and Suncor Energy, which says its vision is to be trusted stewards of valuable natural resources. And what he likes about these companies is that they have what he calls a moat. So it's a very capital intensive business. It's very difficult to get into the business because it requires a lot of capital. It's global in nature. They have a lot of exposure to emerging markets. So they are sort of pinched on the global e uh, economic growth. And, and he, he likes that. So if Buffett's fired up about energy stocks, should the rest of us be too? I wouldn't, I wouldn't join Warren Buffett in, in ExxonMobil. You have to ask this as an investor. Would you buy something that has been the winner for the last 20 years? Do you really expect it to be the winner for the next 20 years? And we know that there is some kind of a, a law in finance that if you are running at very high margins and profitability, it normally goes back to the mean, meaning that it has to go down because if the industry becomes so profitable and so attractive, other players will come into it and push down the profit margin. I think that is the real risk here in, in, in the energy sector.